Did you know that sometimes the most powerful thing you can do in a relationship is nothing? In a world where constant communication and grand gestures are celebrated, there's a hidden power in silence, patience, and subtlety. If you want deeper, more genuine connections, you might need to start doing things a little differently. Imagine a relationship built not on rushing declarations, but on intentional pauses, a love that grows stronger through quiet strength rather than words. This isn't about playing games or keeping secrets. It's about letting the deeper layers of connection unfold naturally. Think of the power of comfortable silence, the strength in patience, and the art of letting actions speak louder than words. In this video, we'll explore how embracing these often overlooked qualities can transform not just your romantic relationships, but every interaction in your life. From transforming insecurities into personal strength to commanding respect through self-assured silence, these insights will help you build relationships that are genuine, lasting and strong. So, if you're ready to discover the quiet power that lies within, let's dive in. Number 1. The Power of Comfortable Silence in Building Connection Imagine you're sitting with someone you truly care about. There's no need to fill the air with words or explanations. In this space, everything just is. Comfortable silence holds a magic that many of us overlook in our fast-paced world. There's a rare power here. This kind of silence isn't awkward, it's freeing. It's a testament to the strength of a bond that doesn't demand constant validation or noise. These moments are quiet, yet they speak volumes. Now, let's explore why this comfortable silence matters so much. Most people feel the pressure to keep the conversation going, to prove interest by actively engaging, filling every pause. But here's the core truth. Real connections don't need this constant assurance. Instead, they thrive in those gaps, where silence is simply part of the rhythm. When you can sit quietly with someone without scrambling for things to say, you both are communicating trust and acceptance. This is where true closeness happens, not just in shared words, but in shared presence. Think back to your own life. Recall moments with someone special, moments when you just were together. Maybe it was during a long drive, sitting on a beach, or even while doing separate things in the same room. These are moments without chatter, without explanations, yet they're etched in memory as some of the closest times you've ever had. There's a peacefulness here, a calm assurance that's hard to find elsewhere. This silence isn't just an absence of noise, it's a shared understanding, a quiet pact. It's the moment when you both realize that words aren't necessary to feel close. You're drawn together by an invisible thread of trust. Now, imagine, what if you embraced this more often? What if you stopped fearing silence in conversations and instead allowed it to deepen the bond you share? Could this be the key to even richer, more profound connections? Let's dive further into the concept of letting silence speak and how it can transform your relationships, adding layers that go beyond what words could ever capture. Number two, embracing authenticity over forced interest. Think about a time you felt truly, deeply understood. It wasn't about saying the right thing or impressing someone. It was about showing up as you are without the urge to perform. This is what authenticity brings to our connections. It's an invitation to let others see us as we are, not as we think they want us to be. In a world filled with the noise of social media and constant comparison, being authentic is a breath of fresh air. When we choose authenticity over trying to force interest or appear impressive, we create a space for real connection, one that is founded on honesty and openness. At the core, authenticity is about allowing yourself to be genuine and unfiltered. We've all experienced those moments where we feel like we have to put on a mask to say what others expect and to keep up appearances. But the truth is, 
Forced interest drains us, both emotionally and mentally. When we are authentic, we give ourselves permission to show up fully, without the fear of judgment or rejection. And in turn, we invite others to do the same. There's probably been a moment in your life when you let your guard down completely, maybe with a close friend, a family member, or a romantic partner. You weren't trying to impress, you were just being yourself, flaws and all. Those moments are unforgettable because they're real. You felt seen, heard, and accepted, not for what you could offer, but for who you are. These moments make us long for that feeling of being truly known, something far deeper than any superficial connection. Imagine if we embrace this authenticity more often. Instead of putting on a show, what if we allowed ourselves to just be, showing others our true, unfiltered selves? How might that change our relationships, our friendships, and even how we view ourselves? When we step into authenticity, we're not only creating a more genuine connection with others, we're also affirming our own worth, showing ourselves that we are enough, just as we are. This journey of embracing who we are without pretense leads to a curiosity. How much closer could we become with others if we let go of the masks and met them from a place of realness? Number three, letting silence create space for real connections. Picture yourself meeting someone new. For many, the urge to fill every pause and keep conversation flowing can be overwhelming. But what if we allowed silence to have its place? Allowing a bit of quiet in our interactions opens up a unique space for connection. It's a space where words aren't forced, but shared naturally and meaningfully. Silence creates a breathing room in conversations where each person can feel comfortable, heard and understood without pressure. Silence has this incredible ability to reveal a lot about the strength of a relationship. When you're at ease with someone, you don't feel the need to fill every second with chatter. In fact, the beauty of a true connection often lies in those unspoken moments where two people can simply exist in each other's presence without needing validation or constant interaction. These pauses can be just as meaningful as the words we exchange, if not more so. Thinking back, we all probably have memories of sitting quietly with someone not feeling any pressure to speak, just being together. It might have been a parent, a close friend, or a partner. Those quiet moments aren't empty. They're full of a kind of intimacy and understanding that doesn't need words. This nostalgic feeling reminds us that real connection isn't always about conversation. It's often about just being there, with someone else by your side. Now, what if we became more comfortable with silence in our everyday interactions? Imagine the depth it could bring to our conversations and relationships if we didn't feel obligated to fill every pause. Could it lead to richer, more meaningful connections? Letting silence be a part of our exchanges invites a deeper sense of trust and patience. It makes room for the other person's thoughts, feelings, and even vulnerabilities to come forward naturally. Silence might seem like a small thing, but it holds an immense potential for building connections that are honest, intimate, and lasting. So, as we journey forward, let's stay curious about how embracing silence can deepen the way we relate to others. Number four, strength in decision-making, leading with logic and calm. Imagine having complete confidence in your decisions, knowing that each choice you make is grounded, rational and purposeful. Decision-making is an art, one that combines our logical side with the wisdom we gather from life experiences. Think about it when we lead with logic and remain calm. Our choices reflect clarity and strength, leaving no room for regret or second-guessing. There's a powerful peace in knowing that your decisions aren't made in haste or influenced by fleeting emotions. This strength, this calm, is magnetic. It draws people toward you and inspires a quiet respect. At its core, effective decision-making is about staying anchored. 
The world around us can be chaotic, with opinions, pressures and even self-doubt clouding our ability to make clear choices. However, when you prioritize logic and maintain composure, you become a guiding light, not only for yourself, but for those around you. Imagine walking through a fog with a clear sense of direction while others struggle to find their way. That's the power of logic, and calm it cuts through uncertainty and reveals the best path forward. Reflecting on this brings back memories of the people in our lives who embodied this quality, those steady, thoughtful figures who didn't make rash decisions. Perhaps it was a parent, a mentor, or a friend. They always seemed to know what to do, not because they had all the answers, but because they trusted their own judgment and took their time. They listened, observed, and then acted, and in doing so taught us that strength isn't loud or reactive, it's thoughtful and deliberate. This approach to decision-making stirs a curiosity. What would happen if we each adopted this mindset? How would our lives change if we learned to lead with calm and logic, even in challenging situations? Imagine facing life's twists and turns with an unwavering sense of control. What would your relationships, your career and your self-respect look like if every decision was made with this kind of inner strength? Number 5. Staying patient. Letting relationships unfold. Naturally. Patience in relationships is an underrated skill, one that has the power to strengthen bonds and foster deeper understanding. Imagine being able to let things evolve without pressure, allowing connections to grow in their own time. There's a quiet joy in watching someone reveal their true self, layer by layer. The foundation built on patience is more likely to endure, as it's founded on acceptance rather than expectations. In the rush of today's world, we often feel the need to accelerate every aspect of our lives, including relationships. It's easy to get swept up, wanting to rush from one milestone to the next. But when you step back and allow things to develop naturally, you create space for genuine, unforced connections. Patience allows for a more honest and sustainable bond to form, one where each person feels free to be themselves, with no pretense or need to perform. Think back to past connections that evolved slowly, ones where time revealed deeper facets of the other person, allowing trust to build naturally. These relationships are often the most memorable, standing out because they weren't rushed. The bond feels more authentic because each step was taken thoughtfully, letting both people grow individually while growing closer together. There's something intriguing about the idea of letting relationships develop at their own pace. What would happen if we all practiced this level of patience, allowing relationships to take shape without any forced timelines? Imagine the stability and resilience that might result from such an approach. Number 6. Handling past heartbreak with quiet dignity. Everyone has experienced heartbreak, and while it's painful, it's also a universal part of the human experience. There's a particular strength in facing this pain with dignity, choosing not to let it define us, but rather to allow it to shape us positively. Imagine the power of acknowledging heartbreak without letting it tarnish your outlook on love. It's a graceful strength, one that not only helps you heal, but inspires others who witness your resilience. Handling heartbreak with dignity is about choosing reflection over bitterness. It's about understanding that, while things didn't work out, the experience has left you wiser and more in tune with yourself. When you carry yourself with dignity after heartbreak, it sends a message that you value yourself, even when someone else may not have. This silent strength commands respect because it shows that you are complete on your own. Many people have memories of quietly nursing a broken heart, perhaps even hiding it from the world. These experiences, though painful, often become some of the most defining moments in our lives. We realize how strong we are, even when we feel vulnerable. Choosing to carry on without outward bitterness 
turns heartbreak into a source of strength. There's a mystery in the dignity that comes from heartbreak. How might this shape the way we approach future relationships? What if, instead of building walls, we used our past pain to create a more open and accepting heart? Number 7. Transforming insecurities into personal strength. Insecurities are something every person struggles with at some point. Whether it's about appearance, abilities, or social skills, insecurities have a way of shaping our self-image in ways that can feel limiting. But imagine for a moment if those very insecurities could be transformed into a source of strength. Consider what it would be like to view them not as weaknesses, but as unique elements that contribute to your personal story. There's happiness in the idea of self-acceptance, a kind of freedom in knowing that we don't have to be perfect. By embracing insecurities, we make room to grow and to learn. When we decide to view our perceived flaws as aspects that make us human, they become less daunting. It's not about hiding insecurities, but recognizing their impact and integrating them into a fuller version of who we are. If you think back to times in life where insecurities held you back, you might feel a bittersweet nostalgia. Perhaps there were situations where you doubted yourself, feeling that your insecurities made you less than others. But as you reflect, you might realize that overcoming those insecurities actually taught you resilience. There's a profound strength in having once felt vulnerable and then choosing to rise above it. Consider this, what if our insecurities were actually gifts? What if they were meant to teach us compassion, resilience and humility? Imagine how life might look if we transformed these perceived weaknesses into sources of wisdom, strength and connection with others. It's a shift in perspective that turns insecurities into some of our greatest assets. Number 8. Commanding respect through self-assured silence. Silence can be incredibly powerful. It speaks volumes without saying a word, particularly when it's backed by a quiet, unshakable confidence. Imagine the kind of respect you command simply by being comfortable in your own silence. There's happiness in the self-assurance that doesn't need validation from others, a piece that says, I know who I am, and that's enough. In today's world, where noise is constant and everyone seems eager to share their opinions, silence becomes a statement. When you choose to remain silent in situations that others might rush to comment on, it sends a message you don't need external validation and you won't compromise your values just to fit in. Instead, you allow your silence to convey self-respect and inner strength. Thinking back, Many of us have probably experienced times when we felt pressure to speak up, to prove ourselves, or to impress others. Perhaps we felt insecure in our silence, wondering if people would judge us for being quiet. But in hindsight, those moments of silence often reveal themselves as moments of strength, times when we stayed true to our principles rather than seeking approval. This notion invites a fascinating question what if, in a world full of noise, silence became our greatest strength? Imagine how your relationships, career and personal life might transform if you learned to embrace silence as a tool for self-respect and confidence. How might people see you if you let your quiet strength speak for itself? Number 9. The Strength of Withholding I Love You Until the Right Moment in relationships, there's immense power in patience, especially when it comes to expressing deep feelings like love. Saying I love you is often seen as the ultimate gesture of affection, yet imagine the strength it takes to withhold these words until they truly align with your heart. Holding back until the right moment shows an understanding that love isn't just a word. It's a commitment, a feeling that requires time to grow and deepen. There's a happiness in letting love unfold naturally. When you wait to express those three powerful words, you create a foundation of trust and sincerity. The relationship has a chance to mature, 
allowing both individuals to feel confident and secure. Saying I love you then becomes a confirmation of what has already been built, a mutual understanding that's rooted in shared experiences and emotional depth. Reflecting on past relationships, many people can recall moments when I love you was said prematurely, possibly out of fear or insecurity. Perhaps it was an attempt to solidify the bond or a response to pressure. But looking back, it's clear that timing is everything. When those words are shared too soon, they can sometimes feel empty or forced. Waiting, however, creates anticipation and adds significance to the moment. There's an intriguing thought here. What if we valued patience and timing as much as we do honesty in relationships? Imagine the beauty of saving those words until they feel completely right, honoring the depth and commitment they represent. What kind of love might emerge if we all practice this kind of thoughtful restraint? Number 10. Letting actions speak louder than words in love and life. Actions have a unique way of expressing love and commitment that words often cannot. In a world where promises can be easily made and just as easily broken, imagine the impact of simply letting your actions speak. There's a joy in knowing that love doesn't always need grand gestures or constant declarations. It can be as simple as being present, attentive, and supportive. There's happiness in the subtle yet profound ways actions communicate love. It's in the way someone listens to you, remembers the little things, and stands by your side through ups and downs. Actions build trust. They show that words are not empty, but backed by intention and care. When love is shown through actions, it feels authentic and dependable, offering a deep sense of security. Looking back on life, many of us can recall people who showed us love, not through words, but through consistent, thoughtful gestures. As you move forward, remember that the true strength of connection isn't in constant conversation or rushed declarations, but in the patience, understanding and depth that you bring to every interaction. By letting your actions speak and embracing silence, you're inviting others to connect with the real you, the you that's grounded, intentional and confident in your own worth. Embracing these principles can transform your relationships and help you build bonds that withstand the tests of time. If you've stayed with us until now, drop a hundred in the comments. That shows you're among the rare few who truly see things through to the end. And if you're serious about transforming your relationships and life, make sure to join us by subscribing to the channel. There's a lot more to explore, and we're just getting started.